In tonight's climate and crisis report, the clock is ticking on gas-powered trucks in California. The state announcing a new deadline for half of all heavy trucks to go electric. This could be a big deal here. Let's bring in our business and tech reporter, Scott Budman. So, Scott, half of all electric trucks to go, or half of all trucks to go electric 11 years from now. Is that doable? It has to. It'll take a lot of work, Raj, but California is leading the charge when it comes to going electric. Last year, close to 19% of all California car sales were zero emission vehicles. And here in the Bay Area, we're already starting to see some big trucks going electric too. California just declared war on pollution from large trucks and big rigs, getting EPA approval to require that half of all heavy-duty trucks sold in the state be electric by 2035. Trucks make up just a tiny share of the all the vehicles on the road in California, but create more than half of the harmful pollution. And that pollution, according to the American Lung Association, hits specific areas especially hard. It's a life-saving program that will reduce harmful pollution, save lives, prevent ser serious suffering throughout California, and especially in lower-income communities and communities of color who are most at risk due to nearby heavy-duty truck traffic. Turns out some parts of California have a head start. This is an electric garbage truck owned by the city of Santa Cruz, plugged into a high-powered EV charger from Newark-based Freewire. And the garbage truck is just the beginning. We have three more on order. We already have an electric forklift, and we also have on order a street sweeper, a dump truck, a flatbed truck, and five medium-duty fire trucks. Santa Cruz says most of its EV funding currently comes from grants, with more private funding aimed at heavy-duty trucks and big trucks from companies like Tesla starting to hit the road as well. Call it a push for a clean and quiet change. Our refuse truck driver got in, and everyone was just amazed at how quiet it is. Now, next month, the state is expected to announce requirements for truck fleets to start transitioning to electric as well. Raj, as we mentioned, this will take time, money, and a whole lot of chargers. Okay, let's talk about where that money is coming from and where are all the chargers. So far, the money largely coming from grants. There are a lot of incentives here for both California and the federal government to try to turn these things electric. There are a lot of chargers. This is what we talk about all the time when we talk about EVs. How do you get people in apartments? How do you get people that live in shared areas to be able to charge their cars? It's going to be similar questions for trucks and fleets, so we need a whole lot of infrastructure as well as the actual vehicles themselves. All right, so these trucks, a lot of them go interstate to other states. Are other states going to jump on this, or is, or is it just going to be California for now? No, it's likely to be other states. Already six states have the same goal of half the trucks by 2035 that California does, and we don't know this for sure, but in the past, California has been a leader when it comes to green technology, so expect other states to jump on board as well. Okay, really quick, you just said goal, so that's just this is just a goal. This is not a hard deadline in 2035. No, the state has said now with EPA approval, Half the trucks by 2035 have to be electric. And yes, it's a goal, but it is also something that Governor Newsom says will be done. I'll check back with you in about 11 years. <laughs> there you go. Thank you.